In this video, we'll take a look at AI-based scheduling as part of SAP Field Service Management. To start the video, we're going to take a look at the Policy Designer, which allows me to create my own policies for assisted and automated scheduling, respectively. To create these policies, I need no technical background, but really just an idea of what I want the business outcomes to be. Here we start by looking at different rules. These are more like hard constraints that define what is allowed and what is not more so a list of do and don'ts. Moreover, I can drag and drop different rules directly onto my policy and edit them as I see fit. Once I define my rules, I'll move to my objectives. Now my objectives are more like specific scheduling goals that help prioritize certain jobs, resources, and ultimately certain job technician combinations. Moving forward to the planning board, I'm notified that a high priority order for a pipeline inspection has just come in. Now we're going to put our custom policy to use. To do this, I'm going to use the fine matching technician algorithm. And here we're going to select the service policy that we just designed. So based on the predefined rules and objectives of the policy, this indicates that Sophia would be the best matching technician for this job. So with that in mind, I'll assign this job directly to Sophia and this shows up on her schedule for the day. The solution also offers quick planning functions which leverage AI to either rearrange a technician's schedule or fill it to make their routes as optimal as possible. In this case, we can see our technician has a lot of travel time. Hence, we'll use the AI planning function to rearrange our schedule. The solution determines the ideal way to sequence the activities. Now let's look at the service map to see how the travel time has been impacted. We can drill into all of the technician's activities as well see the new travel times and distance amongst them. There's also the ability to use fully automated scheduling. This means that users can trigger automated scheduling either automatically on request or based on internal or external events or predefined schedules. Here we see an example of many service calls coming into the solution at once. Now based on the predefined rules and objectives, the solution is able to schedule them automatically.